Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com If we discuss about the project Impacts of Deployment Strategies on Localization Performance in Underwater Acoustic Sensor Networks Let we discuss about the abstract of the project Underwater network consists of a variable number of sensors and vehicles that are deployed to perform collaborative monitoring tasks over a given area Underwater Acoustic Networks are very unique and uh, can be deployed for commercial and military applications. The research of UANS attracts increasing attention in recent years. Here no deployment and localization performed for three-dimensional environment. Implemented different deployment schemes such as random deployment, cube deployment and regular tetrahedron deployment schemes. Among the various deployment strategy, regular tetrahedron deployment scheme outperform. Their performance have been evaluated in terms of reducing localization error and increasing localization ratio without changing the average number of neighboring anchor nodes and maintain maximum network connectivity. For this estimation of the performance which is implemented by received signal strength indicator technique which utilizes the relationship between the transmitted signal power and received power based on the multi retrition method can estimate the coordinates of the ordinary nodes with the known location of anchor nodes the performance of deployment scheme computed maximum localization ratio represented the localization of more number of ordinary nodes let me discuss about the flow diagram for our process initially deploy anchor nodes and ordinary nodes in randomized manner either the random deployment scheme cube deployment scheme or else regular tetrahedron deployment scheme in the multilateral method the method multilateral method is used to calculate coordinates of ordinary nodes the localization errors of three deployment schemes increase with the increase of number of sensor nodes this is because the rssi method uses the relationship between transmitted power and received power of wireless signals to express the distance between two communicating road nodes the longer the distance between two communication nodes the larger the localization error caused by the RSSI based localization technique in the implement of random deployment scheme. The random deployment scheme outperforms the random deployment scheme. In the random deployment scheme, anchor nodes are deployed randomly in a three dimensional monitored region. Ordinary nodes in all the three deployment schemes above the deployed randomly in the three dimensional monitored space if no prior knowledge of the monitor region is available or deterministic deployment sensor is very risky or infeasible random deployment often becomes the only option next in the implementation of cube deployment scheme in the cube deployment scheme anchor nodes are deployed at the vertices of the pre-position space filling cubes whereas in the regular tetrahedron deployment scheme anchor nodes are deployed at the vertices of some pre-position regular tetrahedrons. Among all kinds of regular polyhedrons, the cube is only space filling regular polyhedron. Next, implement the regular tetrahedron deployment scheme. The regular tetrahedron deployment scheme can achieve higher localization accuracy while maintaining good localization ratio, the average number of sensor nodes and network connectivity. In the regular tetrahedron deployment scheme, anchor nodes are deployed at the vertices of some pre-position regular tetrahedrons. Regular tetrahedron deployment scheme has smaller localization error than the random deployment scheme under the cube deployment scheme in general. Finally, we calculated the performance evaluation. Performance evaluation of the three deployment schemes are evaluated. Localization ratio is the ratio of the number of localized ordinary nodes to the total number of ordinary nodes. Obviously, the higher the localization ratio is, the more ordinary nodes can be localized. Localization error can be estimated by the average distance between the estimated coordinates and the real coordinates. Clearly, the smaller the localization error is, the better the localization result will be. Average number of neighboring anchor nodes is the ratio of the number of sensor nodes that can communicate with anchor nodes to the total number of sensor nodes. Network connectivity is the ratio of the number of sensor nodes that can communicate with other sensor nodes to the total number of sensor nodes which can be computed. The performance of regular tetrahedral deployment scheme is slightly better than that of the other two schemes. 
Let me discuss about the running procedure for our process. Select the main file dot m file in the current folder. Right click the file and run for executing this process. This is the main window for the impacts of deployment strategies on localization performance in underwater acoustic sensor networks. By pressing the three dimensional surface, we perform the three dimensional surface based on the cube deployment. By pressing the deploy bottom node button, we perform the deployment of the bottom node. Here the number of deploy deployed bottom node is 7. And by pressing the deploy underwater node, we perform the deployment of underwater. Uh, here the number of underwater node is 17. By pressing the deploy AUV, we perform the deployment of the AUV. Here the number of AUV is 5. By pressing the deploy sync node, we perform the sync deploy the sync node location. Here number of sync node is 9. Now the network deployment is performed. By pressing the uh, select the cube, cube deployment, we perform the cube deployment operation. Here the bottom node and also anchor node are deployed. We select the one cube unit, we perform the one cube unit. And uh, this is the random deployment scheme. And by selecting the one regular tetra hidden deployment, this is the one regular tetra hidden deployment where anchor nodes and also ordinary nodes are deployed. Now uh, we perform the topology operation by pressing the random deployment. We perform the random deployment operation. And by pressing the, uh, we have to uh, estimate the multilateration method button. And here we perform the multilateration where anchor node, ordinary nodes, and also estimated locations are performed. Pressing the random deployment button perform the random deployment operation this is the random deployment in three dimensional environment and here the localization ratio localization error average neighboring node network connectivity is performed by pressing the cube deployment button we perform the cube deployment operation um, for anchor node and also the normal nodes here localization ratio localization error average neighboring node and network connectivity will be performed pressing the tetra deployment we perform the tetrahedron operation. We obtain the localization ratio, localization error, average enabling node and network connectivity for tetrahedron deployment scheme. Now by pressing the next button we can perform the performance. This is the performance graph. By selecting the localization ratio we estimate the localization of random deployment, estimating the localization ratio for cube deployment, estimating the localization ratio for tetrahedron deployment. And now select the anchor node percentage. By selecting the 6.75 percentage, we got the graph for localization ratio anchor node percentage 6.75 percentage. Selecting the 16 percentage, we got graph localization ratio anchor node percentage for 16 percentage. By selecting the 20 percentage, we got the localization ratio anchor node percentage for 20 percentage. Now we have to estimate the localization error. Estimate the localization error for random deployment localization error for cube deployment and also estimating localization error for data hidden deployment. Now by selecting the anchor percentage 6.75 percent we got the localization error and uh, likewise 16 percentage we got the localization error graph and also for 20 percentage we got the localization error. And by pressing the average number of uh, neighboring nodes estimate the average number of cube deployment and uh, average number of data hidden deployment. And Selecting the 6.75 percentage for average number of neighboring nodes, 16 percentage as well as 20 percentage. Selecting the network connectivity, estimating network connectivity for random deployment, connectivity for cube deployment, connectivity for tetra deployment. We got the uh, 6.75 percentage anchor node percentage. We got the network connectivity graph, and also 16 percentage. We got the network connectivity graph. Also 20 percentage. We got the network connectivity graph. Finally, we derive the data hidden deployment scheme outperform both uh, random deployment also cube deployment based on the multilateration method. Thank you.